a lot. So, uh, let's talk about Biken today. There's a lot to discuss for uh, Biken. I feel like a lot of people really don't like her. Like, in terms of design, she's very fun, right? But she doesn't get a ton of damage, and she doesn't really have as many, like, consistent hit confirms. So I feel like a lot of people just don't like her because she does have some kind of linear pressure in some situations. Um, so first, I want to talk about what I think is going to be very important for Biken. Then we'll talk about how I think you should play her and like where I think we're going. One thing I, I know a lot of Biken players don't tend to do is they don't uh, use the air as much. I feel like doing hit conversions like this will be very important for um, being a very good Biken. Basically, like you can see, this is actually her most consistent damage. I guess like if you if you really wanted to just end this, you could just do it. Right. But basically, like depending on distance, you have a lot of like cool options for combos. Like I guess if you get a hit like this though, you could always just go into this route. The most important thing that not a lot of biking players are really looking for right now is how to air to air people. See, like, almost everything you hit confirm into does almost 50%. What happens if they don't jump? Well, that's the problem. It's about figuring out situations where they may or may not. So, like, here, for example, if you, like, knock them down, you may just go for, like, a jump D, because it's hard to get punished from here. It controls a lot of space, right? So it's, like, preemptive areas where you think they're gonna jump is where jump D like this is really good. But otherwise, it's about reacting. I feel like air to airs are gonna be very important for being a good Biken player, but it's also going to be dependent on how well you can hit confirm from specific like areas. For example, here, you can always just go for, you can always go for like this route, right? It's about 130 damage. But if you realize you're close to the wall, you get about 70 more damage. Right? And this is like not, it's not just off that, it's pretty much everything into the Tommy, depending on like, how well you recognize, like, how, where you are. This is, like, best case scenario for 2D. Yeah, it's about 80, almost 80 more damage. So I feel like recognizing your distance from areas will matter significantly, along with recognizing your position. And I've talked about this a lot before, but hit confirming into gun is also very important. Uh, the regular super is really good, but the range is quite bad. I would like it to get a range buff. Gun is still perfectly acceptable. Hit confirming into these two uh, special moves is very important for uh, like doing a lot of damage. Can I hit confirm Paris into RC? Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm actually glad you asked this question. So, let's say you do gun off fire slash, right? This is 156. So off RFC, this is not terrible. This is about, yeah, 32 damage. The problem with this, though, is that it's not all instant, right? The benefit of this, like, hit confirm, they, it's instant, then it's unburstable. So if it's to kill, this route will be more beneficial, even though it's simpler, uh, than something like this, because it, it gives them time to burst. And it's not all done instantly. Right? So it depends on the situation. And of course, if you just RFC into this super, uh, this will do more damage, right? With Biken, I got the biggest feeling that they're really afraid of making a, like a character like <laughs> too good. You know what I mean? Like they were like just way too afraid of this character being like godlike in the air and everywhere else. No other character in the game gets this much damage off a uh, off an air to air, especially on a, a jump ass. This is pretty scaled. But like, even if you don't do an extended route and you go for like that, that's still a really good amount of damage. Which, Heather, I'm actually glad you asked me about that. Um, Heather is like weird, cause um, it's definitely useful in some ways. Like if you get a combo into this, it does a lot of damage. And you do have some like crafty stuff you can go for, like... Most of the time it just loses to the mashing 6p, which means a lot of the time it's like just like RPS, like, you know, oh, am I going to just like jump away at you? Am I going to, you know, it's, it's not, it does not feel that useful to me yet. Or like to do it against, but currently I feel like there's probably not a ton there. 
Um, I'll throw it. You do get complex. I'll give you, you guys want to see it? I'm going to give you the basic 50 50 here. If you do your Zonsen, you cross them up, right? You can, I'm going to even put on my, uh, my input delay. So you can see the inputs I do. I literally just super jump, P, your Zonsen, right? Nothing else. And it crosses up. But if you do jump S, you can see spacing sign. I'm just mistiming my safe jump. You can do like super jump to Tommy, depending on when you do it or how you do it. Like if you super jump instantly, uh, forward or neutral, this will cross them up. If you do your Zonsen, it crosses up. If you do jump S, it does not. She has okay stuff for it, but it's just like the RPS from Tether, and if you burst on Tether, it's pretty bad. So that's like, Mostly what I'm thinking so far. I don't think her tether is super good outside of those situations. In fact, a lot of the time I just like going for her regular throw because I think it looks cooler. <laughs> it's not that big of a difference. For the most part, I feel like a lot of people underrate her because she doesn't get as many good hit confirms as other characters. This move may be the best in the game. Or like, not, not in general, but maybe the best air move. I can't think of a move that's better than this one. It's close to like ram jump S status, but she gets more off of it. But that's like a testament to how good this move is. <laughs> like even though this isn't like a ton of damage by Star standards, like most characters will get more damage meterless if they get a counter hit. The thing that she has that's really good is obviously like routes like this. But, um, the thing is, I don't think she's really a... She's not a damage character. She's more of a, like, a, a, a risk monster, right? How strong Kabari is. I'm gonna do Kabari twice. That's, like, 40%... 40% risk, right? Like, back to back. Then you start pressure off it, you've hit 50. Let's see if you do the follow-up. Let's see how much it is raw. That's a, like that's like 30% risk. You get counter hit when you have 30% risk. Going. Actually, I guess you already have it. That's 230. Probably around like 240 with each Kabari, but with Super, like that that became a lot of damage. For the most part, I feel like you really need meter with this character. Um, to be super consistent in a lot of it. This super with risk is fucking crazy. It does so much damage. <laughs> it actually does so much damage with uh, with any like tiny bit of risk. It is really, really, really good. I cannot like overstate how good this super is. That I think that's the highest damage super in the game. And a lot of the time her wall break, uh, like her hit confirms from like a 6H or 5H, into super actually will do more damage than uh, RC routes. So like you don't really just get direct damage. It's more about you make them block so you get to to do your damage. But she has the benefit of she can reliably hit confirm off stuff. Like look at this shit. I this is like a regular pressure strike. This is plus because of the spacing on 6K. It's just RPS over and over again. I feel like if you're looking too much for like a consistent like. I just want to run my shit and go in. You probably don't want to play by again. Because again, she's designed off this. This is how she's always been. Hit confirming into like stuff like this or this will be. Oh, I, I ran out of meter. Or this will be very important. 